Honestly, coming to Gindelman was, I want to say shocking, but not because the Panoy people are so welcoming and kind and generous and they'll put a smile on your face if you have a frown. They'll make you laugh if you have tears in your eyes. They'll make you laugh until you cry. Hi. <laughs> How are you guys? Okay, you want to be on my vlog? Okay, okay. <laughs> We headed out to Gindelman because Dagan had a fishing tournament, the Sandugo fishing tournament. You can actually watch those episodes right here. <laughs> I was excited for this fishing tournament to watch Dagan do what he loves to do, which is go catch some fish. But I was not excited for the early morning that I knew was coming. A lot more of the bunkas are showing up. The queen is doing my hair, getting her ready to go. That's why she's the queen, the one and only. So I head back to the hotel to try to catch some Z's while Dagan's out battling the ocean. Dagan has 12 hours of fishing ahead of him. After I get a little bit of sleep, I decide that I should check out before Dagan tries to come and help me check out. I know his energy is gonna be through the roof. My energy wasn't quite there yet. So I wanted to get an early start on it, knowing he could walk through the door at any moment. Luckily, I was able to check out calmly and quietly before I caught up to him on the motorcycle coming to get me. All right, guys, I came back. I got some sleep. I'm all packed up now. Um, I'm gonna head down to the tournament to go meet up with Dagan. It's about 11.30 right now, and uh, we still have a long day to go. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. Thank you, sir. The town of Gindelman is super cute. Busy little town. Kind of got a little bit of everything from little burger shops to chicken manok, lechon manok. Uh, check this out. <laughs> Can't leave it on for long because it's uh, we are headed down. Sorry, I can't talk and, and walk at the same time, apparently. <laughs> clothing shops and tire shops and food shops and they've even got milk tea. Actually, I think Degan pointed that out already. So I've got a little whiplash from the accident that we were in yesterday. It wasn't a big accident, but it was big enough, like, got some bumps and bruises and whiplash. So we'll see how Dagan's feeling. I'm sure he's got whiplash too, and he's been out on the sea all day. So hopefully he's holding in strong, and this actually might be him coming up on me. I think it, I think it's him. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's crazy right now, so hop on, we gotta go. So they made it back. He's eating his lunch now. This. <laughs> is the water right now. I don't know if the camera's gonna do it any justice. I guess if you watch the boat. Yeah. The ground was almost dry earlier. It was just muddy. And now it's puddles. Puddles and puddles everywhere. There are so many contestants back in who are not going back out. They've eaten their lunch and they're done for the day. <laughs> Having James as a captain worked out in his favor. And get this. Can I film you? Yeah. Okay. He's wearing a Hello Kitty hat. The bus that we hit was a Hello Kitty bus. It's a sign. Bye. And he's off. <laughs> These guys are not going back out. Lunchtime is over, Dagan's gone, he's back out on the water. I have four hours to explore. Let's go. What's your name? Alberto Dubio. Alberto? Dubio. Nice to meet you. Okay. What's your name? Ojoy Simbahon. Ojoy Simbahon. Ojoy? Ojoy Simbahon. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bye. Bye. <laughs> They said one picture. They wanted to be in the vlog. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Did you guys have fun out there in the water? 
<laughs> Was it scary? Nah. Who caught fish? This one. You caught fish? What did you catch? A what? Mackerel. Mackerel. Ah. How big? 13 kilos. Very nice. Maybe winner. Maybe. Five If nobody would catch bigger than his, then he would be going home with 50k. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Actually, we will we see. We already asked the, the store there to have cases of beer. Brought? Yeah. <laughs> Smart man. Got your priorities straight. Yeah. <laughs> This morning, none of these puddles were here. And now, you can barely walk through it. This is all because of seawater. Hello. A literal night and day difference. Last night, it was so packed, you could barely move through these stalls. And now, peace and quiet. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, explore. Oh, what a day. I was in such a crabby mood this morning, but now seeing this, meeting Dagan's boat captain, seeing the hat that he was wearing, his name, they're the only ones probably going back out. I'd be surprised if even five other captains are going out, five other fishermen are going out. I, I would be shocked. Most of them are just sitting there. Uh, chill in until tonight's festivities. No one guy caught a mackerel, um, 13 kilos, so Dagan just has to catch one. Maybe he'll catch bigger. That would be awesome. I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm in what's called the vortex. If you watch Abraham Hicks, uh, she talks a lot about the vortex and manifestation and being positive and just living in the moment and being open to whatever comes. So it's, it's, I'm really excited. This is the setup for tonight. It looks really, really pretty. I'm excited to see what this evening holds for the dinner and the ceremony. It should be a really good night. So it's kind of nice to see it before everything starts to go down. The wind is supposed to lay down a little bit, which will be nice if that happens for this evening. Uh, it'll allow the dinner and the festivities to just be that much better. So we're hoping for a little bit of lay down this evening. Again, we are here in Gindelman. It's a quiet little town. I mean, it's, it's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Every time we go to, I'm like, oh, I like it. Can we live here? This one has a nice little city center um, where everything's located. All right, let's see what we can find. Hello. Hello, Mom. How are you? Hi. Good. <laughs> I'd love to check out the markets, and since Dagan's gone, we'll go check out the market by ourselves. Those are some beautiful carrots. Hello, how are you? Wow, this is a really nice market. Very clean. Every market in every town here in Bohol seems to be a lot of the same, but still really different. So it's always fun to come and check out all the markets whenever you go into a different town. Meet the local people. Wow. Hello, your flowers are so beautiful. So pretty. Wow, those are beautiful. Look at that. Look at that color. My favorite color. Ooh, they got little bags of popcorn. I might have to get one for Dagan. And they got cheesy popcorn too. That might be happening. This little reward. <laughs> get one for him and James. Taking a little snoozer. Life in America is extremely stressful. So coming to the Philippines, I was looking forward to finding my calm. And I think I found it. The lady sleeping on her own fruit stand literally epitomizes the chill and the vibes of the Philippines. It's so relaxed here in the Philippines. Oh, I can smell the pineapple. It smells so good. It's so relaxed here in the Philippines. I'll be honest with you guys, I've noticed that I've been able to relax more, um, which has been huge and which was pretty much the goal for me of moving to the Philippines. 
being able to not have to live in the grind. Hi! <laughs> How are you guys? Okay? You want to be on my vlog? Okay, okay. What do you guys have here? Are you making food? Ah, oh, okay. She turned red. That was adorable. This is a big market. Very full. Hello! Okay. Oh, no, I'm not buying. Oh, you want me to? She's trying to sell me. Look at her. She's a good little sales saleswoman. Oh, I'm just hanging out. Yeah. I wish I would love some watermelon, but I'm just kind of walking around. I don't live here. Yeah. My husband out fishing. Yeah, in the fishing tournament. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ooh, she's got apples. Maybe. Does she have any good ones? Oh, they're all kind of eaten. Being from Washington, apples are one of my favorite. Okay. Old young. They're new there. Okay. Oh, I might get an apple. Maybe an apple and an orange. This one here. Oh, these ones are fresh. I come from where apples grow. Oh, I... I'll take an apple mm. and uh, orange. an orange. Oh. Yeah, just something to eat and walk around. Oh. Yeah, yeah, for me only. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, banana. like this banana? No. Mango. No. Watermelon. Too big. You're beautiful. Oh, you are beautiful. Thank you. I love your eyes. Uh, <laughs> you guys all are so beautiful. The Philippines, the people, so beautiful. The, 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 the color of your eyes, I like. Oh, thank you. The color of the eyes, <laughs> black. I used to want, when I was younger, I wanted dark eyes. Oh. Yeah, because there's the song, Brown Eyed Girl. Oh, no, I like that. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> you always want what you can't have, what you don't have, yeah? No, this one, avocado. Oh, yeah, okay, how much? Pila? The kuan. Tagitian kilo. It's it for one kilo. Oh, very, very little. Very little. <laughs> I try. Pila, pila, pila. Oh, uh, mm. the fruit sales lady was so adorable. Honestly, I was just trying to get a snack, but she really wanted to sell me some avocados, watermelon, basically anything that she had, she was trying to sell it to me. Timbang. Aki mo mader. Okay, na tayo mo. Aki na mo orange. Uh, no, I'm okay. I'll probably just do that. Just something to hold me over. Alright, those ladies were super sweet. Also, little, little upsellers. I got my banana and my orange. <laughs> Hello! Yes, yes! Uh, Millennial Legends vlog. Yeah! Uh, America. Yeah, we live in Peng Lao. My husband's out fishing. Yeah. For now, yeah. Yeah, he'll be back in a little bit. He's. Do I want to help? It's up to you. Yeah, I'll help. <laughs> you tease me. You think I say no? Yes. Oh, no, I have. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna help cut some fruit right now. Oh, salama. Okay. Okay. You wanna try? Sure. Really? Can we come over there? Yes, of course. Okay. Do you want me to video you or is it gonna? Oh, you gonna end this one? Okay. Can you hear me? Over. <laughs> Can you hear me? Over. Uh, trying to reach Dagan. 
hope I'm cutting these right. <laughs> so string beans here in North Carolina. I love those. Those are so yummy. Yes, it is. Yeah, we eat those all the time. We call this here bato. Bato? Yes, so bato. 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 It's bato. <laughs> It's, it's, it's so weird. When I call it bottom, right? When I cut these, I usually use scissors. Oh, scissors? <laughs> <laughs> I used to use some knife for... Just put them in? Yes. Okay. How am I doing? Am I doing good? Yes. Great. <laughs> Just be careful. I'm like using this, right? It's so risky. Oh, like right. that? Yeah, you're talented. Of course. I've been doing this for many years. How long have you been doing this? Um, maybe since I was a kid. Uh, maybe ten. Oh wow. 12. Okay. I'm not even in college right now. What are you going to college for? Um, I'm a fourth year college. Good for you. Yes. And you are. Um, you're you're done. Yeah. I uh, went to college to be a teacher. You should. Yeah. Uh, early childhood development and education. What was that? So like, like uh, preschool teacher. Oh, B Ed. Yeah, it's all the way. Ed. Really? Yes. That's I what am. you're that's studying. Wow. Yeah. And we're supposed to graduate next year. That's great. Yes. Good for you. You know, you're not a teacher, right? Now? No, I stopped. So oh, I never oh, actually. I was a nanny, a yaya. Oh. For 20 years. If you have, if you go to US yes. and you have a degree yeah. in teaching, you can make good money. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm messing these up. That was amazing. I can't get over how friendly the Filipino people are. Here in Gindelman, the hospitality is bar none, number one. So amazing. Hello, shout out. <laughs> Two hours in the market with the Filipinos was really all I needed to recharge. The energy and vibe here is really like no other. Okay. That was epic. That was amazing. My heart is full. My mind is happy. That was absolutely wonderful. The people here are so kind, so generous. I got to learn how to cut. I'm not good at cutting. Even Dagan will tell you. <laughs> I've cut myself many times, but I did pretty good. A couple times I messed up. We got it done and then they gave me soup. Oh, it was so delicious. And then I kept walking and I met another vlogger. This town is amazing. 
They have a little piece of my heart now. <laughs> All right, headed back to check out and uh, see if maybe the water's calmed down. It doesn't look like it has at all as I'm walking closer. Looks like the wind is just as crazy as it was before. Dagan was trying to call me earlier on the walkie. Some reason I can't get through to him. I can hear him. I don't think he can hear me. Um, I don't know why that's not working. They worked the other day in, in at home when I went. <laughs> I took the walkie down the street to go get some bread from the bakery. So, oh look, they're setting up the stage. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun tonight. I'm so excited. I'm really. This has turned out to be such a great day. I was in such a crappy mood earlier. Honestly, it's hard to stay in a crabby mood in the Philippines because the people here are so kind and so happy. They just put you in a good mood. That's what I'm gonna say about that. Gindelman really does have a piece of my heart and I am looking so forward to going back. The way that the tournament was presented was absolutely beautiful. The dinner was amazing and the people were just as amazing. I really hope you all enjoyed this vlog. This was my first time vlogging by myself without Dagan. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. Until next time, legends.